Scheduling in ASCA can seem a little complicated, so let's clarify it and give you some tips and tricks. Whenever a new worker arrives in ASCA, they're going to automatically be set to a day schedule. You can change their schedule and set the day and nights based on the worker's preferences and your needs at the time. You'll notice that some people prefer to work at day and some people prefer to work at night. So if you go into your settlement tab, you can click the carrot to look at what everyone is set at real quickly. You can click on the person's name and the hourglass to look at what their schedule is and adjust their schedule here for work, sleep, and leisure. Change it to what you want it to be and hit apply. You can also create preset custom schedules. So for people that I wanna have doing the night shift, I'll set them to sleep during the day, have their work at night with leisure time in the morning and evening. If they're a builder, that'll make them turn off and on lamps. And then I'm gonna create and make this the night shift. Save. And if I wanna apply that to someone else in the future, I can just load in a preset that I've made before. If you have a thirsty giant trait on someone, you might wanna consider giving them a break in the middle of the day to get some extra water, particularly if you're having them do their work far from home. Honestly, I just try to keep them near the base so they don't die of dehydration. More raids and bigger raids tend to happen at nighttime. So make sure that you have enough people that are set to be awake during the night to handle those raids, particularly people that are able to fight. Training time for your warriors and your archers doesn't happen in their schedule, but it happens in the management of the actual archery range or the barracks. So make sure that when you're setting schedules in here and you include the main thing, the ranger, the barracks, that you click the little button that says train at this building so they'll keep increasing their skills while they're assigned to that. When you're making preset schedules, I would say minimally you should make a night shift and a day shift. If I hit load to look at my preset schedules, I have five schedules set up that I use regularly. Another one that I set up is work time, which is 24 hours of work schedule. This is good to use if you have a raid and you wanna make sure that everyone is up and ready to fight and participate in the raid. Or if someone new just came in and they have that I'm new bonus and you wanna take advantage of that by having them work for a solid day, just remember to turn it back to a normal schedule before they get too upset. If you wanna change everyone as quickly as possible to being up and working, you can go in your settlement tab, click on this button right here that says copy schedule, and then go down open each person and paste it there. And you can paste everyone to being on the awake schedule so they'll get up and get busy when a raid is incoming. I also have one as called leisure lights. This is a schedule where it's full leisure time the entire time. So what I can use this for is if it's getting to be sundown at a time I didn't anticipate because seasons have changed, I can look in there quickly, grab a builder, put them on all leisure time for a couple minutes, let them go around and light the lights, and then put them back on their regular schedule because builders light lights when they're on leisure time. I also have a schedule set for 24 hours of sleep. I have this one in case of emergencies. If I have someone new come in and I forget to set them up bad or I let them work for 24 hours a day and all of a sudden they come up to me and they're exhausted, I can quickly switch them to full-time sleep. They'll get, get in bed and then I can look at what their schedule actually needs to be. And like right now, for some reason, this guy is bugged and he's making non-stop linen hats. So I don't know why he's doing that, but I want him to stop. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna tell him, go to sleep. And now it's nap time. I'm gonna figure out why he's doing that and make him stop with the hats. Is this a bug? That's weird. To be able to tell what schedule people are on to be able to switch them around quickly, I use codes on their name. So when I'm setting somebody up initially, 
at the beginning of their name, I put A, B, or C. A for me is melee, B are archers, and C is not a combat person. And then I put D or N for day or night. So if I need to grab somebody to do a different job over here, I can grab somebody that is awake right now. Or if some kind of battle is happening and I wanna grab somebody and assign them real quickly to be working at the barracks or at the archery range, I'll already know who is awake and I won't have to also change them to being awake at the same time. If you wanna get really detailed on it, you could also make separate preset schedules for different seasons, but I haven't gotten that granular in it. Villagers' happiness, their morale, is in this top right corner. This and the safety of their home score and their workplaces increase when there is a defense post or a guard station nearby, but only if someone is actually patrolling that position. So it's good to stagger warrior schedules so that they're on in different times, whether you have multiples at the barracks or a day at the barracks and night at the archery range, however you divide it up. It's good to have someone guarding your village at all times, particularly at night for those big raids. If somebody's complaining about their work hours, as they often do, see, this is still red for work hours, and yet their overall morale is 100. You don't always have to get their work schedule to hours that that's not red. There are plenty of ways to make up for it and other things around the village, like having their work and home defended, put in extra things that make them happy, like decorative items, water wells, lamps, fireplaces, religious places. All of these increase their morale. So don't feel like you 100% have to make that not have any red on it. It's also good to stagger people at different workstations with their night schedules between day and night. If they're starting at different times, then they'll be going to their altars at different times. Only so many people can sit there at once. And then for things like the cookhouse, once you're cooking for a really large amount of people and you need to keep a lot of food in stock and keep the cooking going, if you have someone cooking day and night, then it's easier to be able to do that instead of building an entire different cooking house, which is always an option as well. And you can just stagger the schedules in general with that too. Maybe the cooks get up earlier to make the donuts and people going out of the village like foraging get up later. So they see less nighttime moms out and about. And a really important note for a little bit later on is relating to the coal maker and the smithy. Because when the coal maker and the smithy workers decide that it's time to go on break or go to bed, then they will simply up and leave. And if you or someone else is not there to pick up the job as soon as they take off, then that will turn into ruined product. And you really don't want that happening with those later game resources. So definitely make sure that you have day and night people scheduled for that and that their schedules overlap in such a way that when one of them is about to leave, the other one is there ready to pick it up and keep going. And then everyone will get to work. Subscribe for more Aska. Until next time, happy gaming.